All right, welcome back to the Teacher's Tech Bar. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to use the Google Hangouts Meet app on the iPad. So this is an app that's gonna allow us to start a web conference. So if we need to teach remotely, if for example, you're at a school tending to a child but you can still uh, teach your class or if you're sick or if a student's out sick but is well enough to uh, listen into the class, you can start this meeting during class and then the student can call in from from home. All right, so the Google Hangouts Meet app is the white icon sort of in the middle of my screen here with the video camera on the inside. So I'm gonna click on that and open it up. And what's nice about this app is that it's pretty simple. You get a sense for the ceiling in my room right now. I got it because I have the camera on. Uh, shout out to the Hartford Whalers. That's a Hartford Whalers poster there. Um, but I'm gonna turn that off for now. And what's great is that there's really just two options. You're gonna either start a new meeting or you're gonna join a meeting. And as the teacher, you're gonna be the one starting the meeting. So I'm gonna hit that plus sign where it said new meeting. And this is the information that your attendees are gonna need uh, in order to join. And so the main way that I would recommend people join is via the link that you can see that's provided here. So what you're gonna to need to do is share this info or share joining info and you can send that to your students however you'd like, whether you use the mail app, the Gmail app, Classroom, whatever it may be. You can copy it, put it onto Podium, whatever works best for you for communicating with your students digitally. What they'll receive is a link, a dial-in, and an access code, but again, I would suggest the link is best for them. The other nice thing too is, let's say you start a class, you teach for the first 10, 15 minutes, then you want them to do group work, they can all do this exact same process um, and start a meeting amongst just say uh, two, three, four people. I mean, it can technically be as many as you want, but if you're doing small breakouts, um, you can tell them to start their own meeting. So one of the other good features here is that you can share your screen so that if you wanna project, say a PowerPoint like you would on the wall during class, you can do that by um, going to the three dots in the top right corner, and it's gonna say present screen. And that's basically just gonna switch over to instead of showing a video of you, it's gonna show whatever's happening on your screen. So if you wanna flip over to Google Slides to do that, if you wanna switch over to Quizlet, if you wanna switch over to any other sort of activity that you do in class, you can do that and the students will see a live feed of that. I think for me as a math teacher, I'll probably switch over to Notability and use Notability like I would the whiteboard. And the students can do the exact same thing. So if you want them to be working on a worksheet and then share some of their work with you, either in front of the whole class or on a separate Google Meet where you break out into say an extra help session, I think that's gonna be a really powerful uh, element to this. I'm not gonna do that right now because it will stop my screen recording. So um, you just see where it says present screen, tap that, and then whatever you're doing on your iPad will be showing up on screens of those people that are joined in on this meeting. All right, so I really encourage you to test this out and fool around with it. And it's pretty simple in terms of the number of options, but, but how you use those options and how you conduct your class is something I think you should be talking about with your colleagues in your department and colleagues across departments to see what's working best for them. All right, so that's how you use Google Hangouts Meet on the iPad.